Hello everyone. In this lecture, you can learn about Field Density Test Using the Sand Cone Method Field Density Test is commonly called FDT. Before starting, please subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos. To evaluate the degree of compaction of soil or a pavement, it is important to know about the dry density of a soil. For the measurement of the dry density of soil or a pavement, the commonly used methods are sand cone method and core cutter method. Depending on the soil type, in this lecture, we proceed for sand cone method. Core cutter method will be discussed in the coming video. Sand cone method is a simple method in which we measure density of soil from the ratio of the weight of the soil excavated from the compacted area to the volume of the excavated area. To find out the volume of the excavated hole we use sand cone apparatus. This is the apparatus of the sand cone method. Sand cone apparatus consists of inverted bottle connected to inverted funnel by a valve. Bottle upper end is open, through which it is filled with a calibrated sand of known unit weight. To use this method for measuring compaction, we need to measure the following values. Before go to site for measuring compaction, Unit weight of calibrated sand Weight of calibrated sand in a funnel And The maximum dry density of soil being compacted We will continue with the first two points The third point will be explained Separately in the coming video On the topic standard proctor Unit test weight of sand may be defined as The mass or weight of the sand That required to fill a container of a specified unit volume Take a calibrated sand, which is passed through 1 mm sieve, and retain on 600 micron sieve. Now we measure the unit weight of this sand. For this we take a calibrated container, and determine its volume, using dimensions, and some simple calculation. The volume of calibrated container is, roughly 1000 cubic centimeters. Take a sand cone apparatus. Keep the valve close. Filled it with calibrated sand. And measure its weight. W1. Then we put the sand filled container. Over the calibrating container. Open the valve and allow the sand to fill the container. When the sand flow stops, close the valve. And measure the weight of sand cone apparatus. W2. We will notice a cone type heap of sand on calibration container. To determine its weight, place the sand filled apparatus on a glass plate. Open the valve to fill the cone. Close the valve. Remove the apparatus and weight the heap of the sand. W3. Now, the weight of sand which filled the calibrating container. Wa can be obtained from subtracting W2 and W3 from W1. Hence, unit weight can be determined by its formula, weight over volume. Here, the weight of the sand in calibrated container is WA, and the volume of the calibrated container is VC. From this, we can measure unit weight of calibrated sand. Now come to the site where soil compaction is to be determined. Clean some portion on a ground and place a metal tray having a hole in the center. Excavate a hole through knife or any sharp tool, roughly up to 15 centimeters. Collect the excavated material in plastic big so that no moisture loss and weigh it. Note this weight as W excavated. Now fill the sand cone apparatus with calibrated sand. Weigh the setup and note as W and 1. 
Place the setup over the excavated hole. Allow the send to fill the hole. After filling the hole weight, the setup again. Note it as WN2. Now, if we remove the weight of remaining sand and the weight of conical heap of sand from filled sand apparatus, we can get the weight of calibrated sand which filled the whole and can be noted as WSH. Now, we have unit weight of the sand and weight of the sand in the hole as unit weight is the weight per unit volume. By rearranging, we can determine volume of hole by dividing the weight of sand in the hole over the unit weight of that sand. Now, we have a volume of the excavated hole and weight of excavated soil. From this, we can calculate bulk density of a soil whose compaction is to be determined by dividing the weight of excavated soil over the volume of that hole. This is the wet density of a soil because the soil has some moisture. To measure this moisture content, take a small sample from the excavated soil and use any moisture content determination method. We can calculate the dry density of excavated soil using this formula, where rho is the wet density of soil and WC is the water content of that soil. Finally, we can calculate compaction by dividing field dry density of soil over maximum dry density. Compaction can be expressed in percentage. Maximum dry density calculation will be explained in coming video. Thank you. Stay tuned.